Okay, I was asked to give my opinion on Lucasfilm being bought out by Disney. As we all well know by now, Lucasfilm was bought out by Disney just a couple days ago for a little over $4 billion. Um, first of all, I wasn't the least bit surprised that Lucasfilm went on the market, mainly because George Lucas, ever since January, had been discussing retiring. Uh, not from film period, but from big budget films, which means he would pretty much be leaving Star Wars and Indiana Jones behind. So I wasn't the least bit surprised that the entire company went on the market. What I was surprised by was Disney taking it over. I was really expecting Fox, of all companies, you know, because Fox had been the distributor of all the Star Wars films, all the Indiana Jones films, and has really been great partners with Lucasfilm. So I was really expecting Fox to be the ones to buy it out. Um, unfortunately, and I'm sure this is how it happened, I, I'm pretty sure um, Fox put a bid down on Lucasfilm, probably like a little over a billion dollars, but knowing Disney, uh, they put a bid down that no other company can top. Um, they put a, they put like $4 billion, and no other company is going to try to match that. I mean, they bought Saban Entertainment, you know, the company who ran Power Rangers, for $5 billion. That's an insane price for a TV show uh, company. And for Lucasfilm, they bought it for four billion dollars. They actually bought it for less, which I'm, which I'm equally surprised by. Um, but immediately, immediately after Disney bought it, I, I'm not even talking like 20 minutes. They announced um, another Star Wars trilogy, seven through nine, which is, sounds great for fans, mainly because you know us fans have been petitioning for seven through nine ever since Star Wars Episode Three. Um, and I'm sure fans would be a little more confident if it was still Lucasfilms and Fox handling everything, but now it's Lucasfilm and Disney. And one of the things that really worried me about Disney buying it is is the fact that Disney, when they buy a company, and this was definitely uh, shown when they bought Saban uh, several years ago, um, that Disney, when they buy out a company, they want 100% creative control. And that's not going to work with Lucasfilm. Lucasfilm, when they were with Fox, they had 100% creative control. They were able to make the Star Wars films the way they wanted to without Fox really having any say because Fox had faith that Lucasfilm had a hit on their hands no matter what. Um, but with Disney, when they buy out something, they want 100% creative control. And that really worries me with Star Wars Episode 7 through 9. I re I'm really afraid that these movies are going to wind up sucking because now they're in the hands of Disney writers and everything. Nothing against Disney writers. Nothing against them. They, they write classics themselves. Disney is a classic film company. Um, but Disney, if I've learned anything from them, they don't know how to handle established franchises that came from other companies. Um, you know, they're great at writing original material for themselves, but when they're now but when they're handling material that wasn't originally created by them, they wreck it. They show they show this a lot when they buy out T V shows. Uh, they haven't dealt much with movies though, when with that. And that has me a little more a little more worried because movies are on a bigger budget, they're on a bigger scale. Um, so the chances of failing are much higher. Um, but, you know, with George Lucas not being part of it, and say what you want about George Lucas. Yes, he's, he's the worst dialogue writer probably in Hollywood. Um, but, you know, Star Wars was his baby. I mean, he wrote that story. The story was wonderful. And to have him not be a part of these films is really weird. You know, to have it under different producers, under different writers, um you know, is really concerning to me um, and probably every other Star Wars fan. Um, but I think for these movies to be successful, if I had to say anything for Star Wars Episode 7 through 9, I think for them to be successful, um, Disney writers would have to follow the novels. Um, George Lucas, for years, has been against uh, 7 through 9 because he said it himself that the Star Wars franchise was meant to be six episodes. His original Star Wars franchise was meant to be six episodes. Um, but I think if they were to expand on this, they'd have to go towards the novels. There've, there have been some great book writers who have really been able to expand beyond uh, George Lucas's franchise and really create a, a book franchise that has been equally, if not more, successful than the movies. Um, 
I think if they were followed along those lines and follow the novels, I think these movies might be good. But I don't see Disney doing that. Disney likes um, making doing things their way, and I think that's what's what's going to wind up hurting these films and hurting the other franchises that have been a part that have been a part of Lucas films. You know, they think of Indiana Jones and all all that. Um, and I'm pretty sure that Disney's going to find a way to um, expand Indiana Jones in a way um, because they're good they're just as good as lucasfilm as milking a franchise um but yeah that's my opinion on it um i'm very worried uh with lucasfilm you know again they're a company that loves 100 percent creative control and now they're owned by a company that does not like their companies to have 100 percent creative control so i can see lucasfilm and disney butting heads a bit and i can see a lot of people at lucasfilm getting fired or quitting because of this and yeah so that has me worried um, so yeah, that's it for now, and thank you guys so much for listening, and I'll see you next time.